morning, teacher and classmates. My name is Parvati and I'm here. I'm going to do an interview for my mom. He's a friendly kidney. And then we start with the first question. What is pranic healing? Um, okay, pranic healing uh, is the science and the art of healing. Uh, it's, a, it's a therapy. Uh, it's based on the wisdom of the healing arts practice uh, in, in India and China and all over the world. Why did you like it? Um, well, uh, for I I always wanted to find uh, natural ways to feel better and to uh, get rid of headaches and and to feel less stress and things like that. So I I study the the art of healing um, that could help my life and the life of my family. And I was looking for an alternative medicine which is natural and doesn't depend on, on medicine. And how does it work? Um, it's, do you know, ha have you ever watched the movie uh, Mr. Peabody? And what, what's the name of the, of the movie, Mr. Peabody? And what, what's the name of the, of the ch child? Jake? Okay, bye, Mr. Peabody. Wait. See you after school. Sherman. I gotta go. I gotta sign up for the club. Sherman, no one is more in favor of participation in fraternal organizations than I. But before you go, I want you to have this. Thanks. What is it? A dog whistle. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work, Mr. Peabody. No! It works. Fine, Sherman. It's just a frequency only dogs can hear. Oh, cool. Let that little keepsake be a reminder to you that no matter what challenges you face, no matter how far away I might seem. Bye, Mr. Peabody! In that movie, uh, the father who is a dog gives uh, the, the kid a whistle. Do you remember that part? The, the kid blows the whistle and no human can hear it but the dog can hear it right so it's you know this is how it works um the human body is not totally able to see and, and hear things that other uh, animals can hear you know for example the dog whistle you blow it and the human here cannot perceive the sound, but the dogs can hear it. And in the movie, the kid blows the, the whistle, and the humans don't, don't hear it, but the dog goes like, oh my god, it's too loud, you know? So that means that the sound is, is a wave, it's energy. And it means that just because humans cannot see the energy, it doesn't mean that it's not there. So in that way works pranic, uh, pranic healing. Uh, pranic healing is, is healing at the energy level that you cannot see the energy with your eyes or, or, or perceive it with your ears. But if you train your hands, you can feel it with your hands. So we feel the energy of disease and stress and we clean it away from the body. So um, it's, you know, the way it works is that uh, the healer has to develop sensitivity and clean away the bad energy and replace it with the energy of nature, of, of the sun, uh, the energy, the prana, which is, you know, all over in nature to replenish the body and that the body feels again uh, with vitality. And with the, when the body feels vitality, then start working better. 
and it can heal faster and recover faster from you know anything from disease or stress. Um, well, the the healing techniques were created from back from our ancestors. In every country and every culture, there is always been uh, healers who were in charge of making people feel better even before the times of modern medicine. So pranic healing has been there for you know ever since humanity started. But in the modern era, uh, there there was a, sign, uh, a scientific uh, yogi. Uh, whose name is Master Chokok Sui. He, he is from uh, Filipina and his family was from China. And he developed and make it, uh, made the techniques more available for everybody, you know, in modern times to use. He studied from all the other cultures and he synthesized, he made, he made a, um, uh, he make it all more simple, so people could do healing. You know, uh, in a, you know, anybody could do it. He wrote books about it. And how many books? Oh my God, um, I think he wrote about twenty, more than twenty books uh, about healing, and they have been translated to. All the all the language in the world. And do you need any instrument to heal? Um, uh, when you want to help someone who, who has a pain and, and you know and a person that doesn't feel good, you can you can help them feel better just by using your hands. You know, you sweep your hands and, and you follow the, the instructions that, that are in the book and, and you can help them just with your hand. However, uh, in advanced uh, courses uh, and classes, um, uh, they teach you to also use uh, crystals and, and, you know, and other things. And what is the approximately time of a session of healing? Well, uh, sometimes, uh, for example, if a kid uh, makes a cut or, or something like that, something very simple, you just go and sweep many, many times, a couple of minutes, and the person feels better and, and the body starts uh, healing itself faster. And uh, it depends on the uh, of the disease that you are treating, normally a session lasts about 45 minutes to one hour. But it could be less or a little bit more, but normally 45 minutes. Do you need to touch the people to heal or not? No, this is the, uh, this is the advantage of pranic healing because you are, uh, you are um, working at the energy level, you don't need to touch the person. Actually, we also, we work uh, with people who could be in another city, in another country, or with a person that is in front of you, but you don't need to touch it. And why do you like panic healing? I like panic healing because it's very effective, and I, I have seen the results um, right away uh, in my own life, and when I uh, do it to other people. Uh, it's not just the theory. I mean, you go and learn, and you like uh, the classes and everything. And when you put into practice what you learn, do you realize that it really works? You know, one time uh, I burned my hands, and it was very painful. And I went to the doctor, and the doctor said that I I should be strong because because the the burn was so bad. I was gonna be in pain for at least two more weeks. Um, so I said, okay, the doctors can do anything more for me. They gave me medicine, uh, you know, uh, a cream to put on, on my burns, but it still hurt. So I went to my uh, pranic healing center 
and they did a private cleaning. They cleaned uh, the energy in, uh, that was, you know, in my hands. And after some 20 minutes, my hands stopped hurting. And it was so fast, and I couldn't believe it. And you know, the doctors told me I was gonna be in pain for two weeks, and with private healing, I I was healed in in just 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And after one or two hours, I was even able to to do things with my hands, and I actually felt so so much better that I started doing pranic healing to other people who were coming to the to the center. I forgot that I was burned, and I I was even able to use alcohol to clean my hands, <laughs> and I was able to to heal other people. So, um, that was one of the times that I saw how you know, how effective uh, it was the technique. And how many years do you know with the pranic um, I I started uh, in in 2013, and I I loved it, and since then I've been uh, practicing in my own life and also helping other people to feel better. Thank you. We have finished the interview, and now you know what is pranic healing and why my mom likes it so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.